Good day everyone, welcome to another episode of Lakbay. My name is 13.4 and I hope you have a good time today. In the previous episode, especially at the end, we were just talking about um, how it's going for our series here. And during that, I went to this place, the treasure building. However, I found there was an error in the way my redstone worked and that instead of the 134 code, it was actually only the four that was opening the door. I found I found that out through some testing because in the previous video, I actually pressed the wrong code, but the door still opened. I have since fixed some of the error, but we are now back at the point where we need to be ridiculously consistent with our button pressing to even open the door slightly. So I'll make sure to fix that on another date. Uh, that redstone door has been really the bane of my existence for quite a while now. Our main goal for this episode, I think, really should be the mob farm area. Since the last episode, I've added a few more blocks here just to make the walkway much, much easier to walk up towards. I've also removed the circular structure here in the middle just because it felt like I was not giving myself enough space to walk around in this part. And I've also started on this walkway over here. It's gonna be a slab walkway because I don't want monsters to spawn inside because I want to make this part of the mob farm specific for spiders and hopefully it will make it much easier to find those spider jockeys. So I have been trying my best to place these blocks really carefully without falling into the water because i want this to basically be a giant square that goes this way turns around over there turns around once again over here and turns around once again back to the circle and the two sides of the circle farthest away from you shall be this side and that side will have our platforms for the spiders so i'm quite looking forward to how that looks and then hopefully I'll be back in a couple of min in a couple of seconds with how it's gonna look like. All right, let's go continue on that. All right, well this is one of those moments that I really dread when I was working on this mob form, and it's part of the reason why I wasn't able to play for that long in the last few months is that when, for some reason when I'm walking in this area. Or whenever I'm walking on these slabs, there's some chance that the world just passes out and I'm unable to move. And really all I can do is just save and quit, reload the world, and sometimes, sometimes I would be able to walk again. Oh, this time I fell. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit tedious, it's a bit annoying, but we can keep going. And the really funny thing is when it happens when I'm just in the water trying to jump towards shore, you know, you, you just inevitably fall while on the slabs and sometimes you just have to swim. But, you know, sometimes we even get shot while in the water. Anyway. Alright, so we now have here our square shape going on in that direction. Our platforms will be on these two sides far from us. And to do that, we first need to remember that Spiders spawn in a 3x3x1 three by three by as far as I know, which means that whenever we have one of these platforms, we need to build it in a 3x3 three three square, something like... Yep. Two. Oops. Something like this, where you have... 3 by 3 by 1. Now, because it's 3 by 3, oh, I think I put an extra block, uh, some extra blocks over here. But one thing about being a 3 by 3 by 1 is that it can only go on, on here, right? And then if you, ha if you place a block above that, uh, if you place any block above that, rather, then spiders would, uh, only spiders would be able to spawn in this square. So the goal now is to place all these platforms so that we can start building. Or so we can start getting some spiders. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it an extra layer high. So that 
I can reach the spiders this way. And then I'm gonna continue with that until we do both sides. And then we shall continue with that. Meanwhile, I was thinking of adding some glass above this platform so that if ever we do get a spider jockey, so for example, imagine this is glass. If, if we get a spider jockey, then the skeleton part would be stuck in the glass, but it won't suffocate, which means that we could spawn spider jockey, but we would still be able to have the skeleton. So we'll see if that works. Meanwhile, on this outer edge, we'll probably just have a wall for now since I don't have enough glass to... Oops. Since I don't have enough glass to cover the entire platform in glass. Alright, let's go for that. Well, here's our L-shaped platform. We now have our cobblestone here, some glass here, some, some stone slabs on top of that. So hopefully that's going to be um, enough of a ceiling to stop uh, to stop light from coming in. I also put a, a simple railing on this side, which I quite like. So I'm going to keep that and copy it on the other side as well. And thankfully, uh, because we changed the design of our mob form i was actually planning on doing something else with these fences but it ended up working out that we're just using the fences for what they're actually for for blocking things from moving so i just get to use these fences for what they're supposed to be for which is quite nice yeah uh, let's continue this and i'll put some walls on the sides here to make sure that really no light is getting in so that we could probably start spawning these spiders as well. Alright, let's show you what that looks like. Alright, we now have walls on both sides, on the inside and the outside of our platform here. So it should now be dark enough inside to have our spiders spawn sometimes, especially during the day. But that said, especially during the night, we have to light up all this area all around our base to make sure that we are limiting mob spawning to our platform over here. And in future episodes, we, we would have to uh, increase the spawning space to make sure that we are getting more and more spawns and increase our chance of getting those spiders. Now, all of that lighting up will probably be done in between episodes and some of these parts are quite ugly like this part and the tops of the walls over there I might have to do something to change how that looks but this is now how it looks like on the inside you might not be able to see anything right now because it's so dark but that's how it's designed we now have this space for spiders to potentially spawn and I'm quite excited about that so from time to time, I'll be, come on, from time to time, I'll be looking inside this area, checking for spiders, and then hopefully we will soon be able to see some spider jockeys. But 
I think that will be it for this episode. I'm quite glad to have finally finished this. I, I am looking forward to making this more structurally sound, at least making it look more structurally sound because all of this is just suspended above the ocean right now. But there's a lot to do in between episodes and there's a lot of big plans as well for the next episode. So if you want to see more, please do feel free to subscribe. But for now, the grind continues. Goodbye, everyone.